So here we have Western A Price book. If you ever if you see me there, you go. It's better. Western A Price Nutrition and Physical Degeneration by Western A Price book written in the 20s. Big book, big chunky book, and this is the book when all the paleo primal low carb people say, "Oh, the China study that's 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 too much science. It's not true. It's you know 100,000 people over 27 years. What we want to do is we want to debunk the China study by giving you Dr. Price, who was actually a dentist, wasn't a nutrition biochemist like Colin Campbell was, is. So we've got a dentist and a doctor in dentistry and. Uh, We've got, we've got good old Dr. McCullough's little, uh, <laughs> little hype up on the front page. So this is quite interesting. This is very interesting. I don't know if actually Dr. McCullough's read this book because on page 492, because they're all anti-grains, they're all anti-carbs, they're all low-carb, low-carb, double low-carb. Actual fact, Weston A. Price, promoter of high carbohydrate. Page 492. This is Weston A. Price's own words. The basic foods should be the entire grain, such as whole wheat, rye or oats, whole wheat and rye breads, wheat and oat cereals, oat cake, dairy products, including milk and cheese, and some marine foods. So I'm going to say that again. The basic foods should be the entire grains, such as whole wheat, rye or oats, whole wheat and rye breads, wheat and oat cereals, oat cake, dairy products, including some milk and cheese, and some marine foods. So basically, it's a high carbohydrate. So basically, it's high carbohydrate. So basically, it's like a, a grain-based lifestyle. So basically, it's a grain-based diet. Weston A. Price also says on page 492, the protein requirement can be provided each day in one egg or a piece of meat equivalent to the bulk of one egg. So that's a, that's a piece of meat about that big per day, according to Weston A. Price. It's about that big, size of an egg. <laughs> But all these people saying eating bacon eggs for breakfast, you know, like all these paleo primal low carb snake oil hucks are saying, you know, eat bacon eggs for breakfast, that's good for you. I don't know, but they use Weston A. They use Weston A. Price as their uh, guru. Weston A. Price says don't eat that much. Eat more wheat. Eat more wheat. Weston A. Price says eat lots of wheat. Whole grains, wheat. Wheat bread. Oat cakes. Weston A. Price loves the wheat. Which is, hey, that's cool, man, but when it, I find it interesting when all these paleo people and primal low carb and say, oh, don't eat grains and legumes and stay away from fruit because Weston A. Price said that that's bad for you. Actually, if you actually read Weston A. Price's book and go to flick to page 492, and it's the personal correspondence letter from Weston A. Price. Letter on nutrition, it's called. So it's quite interesting. Weston A. Price, he was a bit of a pioneer back in the day, you know, but, uh, not like today with the China study. And Weston A. Price promoted two grams of phosphorus per day. If we go to page 491, and if you flick to page 491, Weston A. Price says you will need to eat seven and a half pounds of potato to get two grams of phosphorus. And Weston A. Price says all of which would provide too high a number of calories. But seven and a half pounds of potatoes isn't that much. It's only about 1,700 calories. And a few paragraphs up on page 491, Weston A. Price says most people would need two to three thousand calories a day. So he sort of contradicts himself. He says you need at least two thousand to three thousand calories a day, but then he says seven and a half pounds of potatoes a day, which is 1,700 calories, is too much food. So he sort of contradicts himself. It's a bit like saying the water's too cold. Put some hot water in there, but that's going to make it too hot. It's just, you know. So a, he contradicts himself a bit there, doesn't he? Yeah. Anyway, get back to reading. <laughs> so Weston A. Price is heavy on the wheat. And Weston A. Price is a big fan of milk on page 491. He says, milk is one of the best, if not the best, single food for humans. So that's page 491. Milk is one of the best, if not the best, single food. So I like it when uh, a lot of these paleo primal low carb people say don't drink dairy and then they use Weston A. Price's book. It's, they just cherry pick information. They're, they're so desperate now. They're so desperate just to, you know, they're so desperate just to muscle in on the market 
and tell the people to eat bacon eggs for breakfast and it's going to cure all your health issues and weight issues. Bacon eggs for breakfast. Yeah, right, guys. I don't think you really know what you're talking about. So next time someone says to you, well, Western A price, Western A price, Western A price. So next time one of the trolls says, Western A price, so you just, you got to cut out the grains and the fruit and eat lots of milk and eggs and, 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 and seal blubber. But you need healthy fats, healthy fats and grass fed butter and cheese and dairy and, and, and fermented goat's milk. That's what you need. Healthy fats, grass fed fats, grass fed steak and bison. You lot of Monkey. You can just say, well, actually, Weston A. Price was a, a big fan of the wheat, the whole wheat, the cracked wheat. So Weston A. Price was a big fan of the grains. That's the truth. Page 492, Weston A. Price's book, His Letter on Nutrition, page 492. So go to your library and, and get a have, a, have a browser. Don't just believe what I'm saying. So next time someone says Weston A. Price said you've got to eat a lot of meat, that's, that's rubbish because he, he said one egg per day or a piece of meat the size of an egg per day. Interesting stuff. And you got these people like, you know, Rob Wolf and Mark Sisson and Sean Croxton and Gary Torb saying, you know, have as much meat as you can eat, slap, fill your plate full of meat, pile it up, you know, go to McDonald's and get get the, the triple cheeseburger and get rid of the, the buns and eat, eat the eat the meat, get extra meat patties and stack it up. Go to TGI Fridays, just make sure you, you bless the food like Paul Check says. These guys, sincere but sincerely wrong, man. But they all use Western A. Price as their, like, uh, excuse for these bad dietary habits. When actual fact, Western A. Price's dietary recommendations were more along the lines of vegetarian, pescatarian. I can't even mention here where he says eat lots of red meat, like, or bacon and pork, like all these uh, low-carb primal paleo iPad gurus say. So, you know, it's... Uh, a lot of confusion out there, a lot of confusion out there, and uh, I just tell people, educate yourself, do your homework, read the books, read the books with a carved up mentality, get enough carbohydrates, there's a spot on this camera now, get enough carbohydrates so you can study well, get it early night so you can absorb the information and you can really read in detail and pick up the contradictions, so you can pick up the details and benefit from them, and you can see the contradictions in these low carb primal paleo gurus when they talk about Western A price and say don't eat grains, it's like, hey, hey guys, hang on, what, 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 what did you say? Don't eat grains, but Western A price said eat grains, whole wheat's the best, rye, oat. So what are you guys saying, hey? Cherry picking information. Oh, can't cherry pick because cherries are fruit. Better, better leave that out. You know, keep your cherry intake to 10 cherries a week because otherwise you're going to get fat. So if you're after serious weight loss, get on the high carb, low fat, low protein lifestyle, plant based, vegan, that's where I say it. Fruit's your friend, and that's as simple as that. Thanks for watching.